Okay, we have some very old wiring in here. We're going to be capping it off because we don't want people using it and overloading it. So it's off. This way, only a very few things run the old wiring so it doesn't get overloaded like the lights, a couple of lights. And that screw's a bastard because it's all full of paint. Very old, old wire on it. Okay, so we will take an CBX wire. So we can take and strip a very little off of here so that the wire nut can grab onto the copper. Okay, so we're going to put this wire nut on here. And I'll fold it in so that the wire nut faces up so it doesn't fall off. This is the black wire, which is the live one. stress on anything and the blank cover goes on there and this is the old Allen and it's broken by the way and this is the old style fuse box we can screw our 15 amp fuse back in Lights are on. So here in the country I'm born in, uh, we s stopped using fuses uh, probably in the 70s, the early 70s, we went to all circuit breakers, but uh, Fuses were used up till about the late 60s and the early 70s. And what's nice about circuit breakers is you can just go down and click it back on. And uh, they make what's called the S-type fuses so that you don't put a 20 or a 30 goes or a 30 or a 20 goes or a 20 or a 15 or a 30 or a 15 amp goes. Because you gotta match the wire size to the fuse. Peace. Thanks for watching. 14 goes on a 15 amp fuse, 12 goes on a 20 amp fuse, and 10 goes on a 30 amp fuse.